channel file again in this video we are going to see how we can prevent attacks like dos attacks or ddos attacks using the checkpoint firewall sam rule and also we are going to see if you implement the sam rule what will be the impact on the firewall processes firewall cpu firewall memory so this video is very informative so please watch this video till the end as you can see on my screen i have ips attacker machine i just wanted to walk you through what the topology i have so i have one ips attacker machine i have my cluster gateways i have sms and more windows server let's go ahead and create one attack to my gateway from this ips machine uh let me go ahead and select the attacker machine's details so enter the attacker ip address it's 192.168.1.21 enter the target machine where i want to execute the attack which is my gateway ip address 192.168.1.101 and rest of the thing is as it is let me select the second option and from there let me again select the second option for application level attacks and here let me just keep hitting the attacks to my machine if you see the attack is got started and i just wanted to come to the uh my smart console here smart log i'll just show you uh how the uh, traffic is hitting to my gateway so this is what the uh, my gateway and let's see if you see the current traffic it just keep generating and if you see the top sources it's uh 192.168.1.21 .1 and all the traffic is occupied by that top sources let's go to the command line and the gateway and observe the traffic from there uh, i mean the cpu load i'm just going to the gateway let me open it let me go to the expert mode or from the standard mode also we can run the commands but let's go to the expert mode let me clear up the screen so you can see well let's run the command cp view and here you can see how the cpu is utilized okay it's a six percent six percent but let me do one thing here for you if i do some changes to the policy and i if i am trying to install the policy it takes you know i mean forever the processing of this gets goes down let me do some modification here say here i want to again have some service to be installed <coughs> for now i'm just uh, saying okay let me have some http or say for example for now tell service okay i'm just adding that and let me publish the policy i just wanted to show you like how the cpu work goes high because the attack is already there okay and let me see if i can install the policy and let's observe the cpu load now so here if you see uh, currently <coughs> cpu 0 2 3 are under 6% 4% now as soon as i install the policy if you see the load it goes 43% 50% and sometime you will see it's about to 74 or 100% just keep observing these details all right see it's 83 percent 82 percent it's keep increasing this is what happens when you you know under attacks so now i want to go to the you know uh the policy got installed now i want to go to uh, smart view monitor and from there 
I want to apply the SAM rule so that this attacker IP address consider this is something a bot which is you know attacking to your network I want to block this how I can do that so let me go to the logs uh, from here I want to go to the next tab if you see there is something called tunnel and user monitoring if you click that you go to the smart view monitor and let it get open once what we monitor get open let's go to the menu from there to the tools and then there is something called suspicious activity rule sam rule let's go ahead and add a rule so you have to apply this rule on your gateway so gateway one for example give it an ip address 192.168.1.10 oh it's the source ip address 1.21 it's attacker ip address and where the attack is happening which is your gateway 192.168.1.101 okay and for say for next 10 minutes you want to block this traffic or in case let's have an hour okay now once i say enforce this uh, uh rule get imposed without installing the policy okay you don't have to install the policy for this so let me enforce okay rule got imposed let's go back to the uh, your logs and observe the traffic if you have a drop for the latest traffic so as you can see the traffic is got blocked by the sam rule okay now the important key which i want to show you here that the cp load okay now it get goes down drastically okay now it's under 10 2 percent 2 percent 1 percent okay so there is no load on the firewall now let's see if we run the command say fwctl zdebug drop and if we grab the ip address which is 192 168 1.21 which is attacker IP address now the SAM, SAM rule is applied and uh, you are observing the drops but uh, how you come to know these are the these drops are due to the SAM rule you know so what you need to do you have to come here to the smart log and just open it I don't see uh, any uh uh statement here which is giving me any hint that uh sam rule is causing this drop uh, if i go to this more okay so message information is something where you will see okay or why the traffic is getting dropped so here is the uh sam rule which you have imposed because of that you are seeing the drop now same if you run the command call uh, fwctl zdebug drop and grab the attacker IP address, you will see the reason of the drop from this this source to the destination because of the SAM rule filtering. Right. So this is how the SAM rule you know uh, uh, helps to drop the communication in a right way. As we have observed, we haven't done anything like we impose, uh, I mean, uh, push the policy or anything like that. Within this one single click from here, just we added the rule and this traffic, you know, uh, goes into the down state. Now, if you remove this rule and you again, uh, uh, <coughs> again, you will see the packets getting accepted. So, once you remove the rule, again the imposement happens seamlessly. And now I believe you should see the acceptance logs. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. And in attacker machine, let's see what is the status. 
this is attacker machine now you can see uh, connection is got refused and we remove the sam rule the again the communication is got started like from the attacker machine and let me go ahead and see here if we are seeing the logs again for accepting those topics see the logs is there and from this parameter like a kernel debug we are not observing any uh, drop anymore right let me control c uh, let me go ahead here and let's just quickly observe the cpu load as well the cpu view is the command for that and now again the cpu load is getting increased say 11 percent it's it's going above the 10 percent earlier it was not so <coughs> i hope guys this video is informative for you and thanks for watching this video and i have a good day